Hello, what is capillarity? We have this expression that is holding the dictionary for 500 years or even more, but the idea of capillarity comes from the tube theory. Uh, I think that uh, this geometry was developed by uh, life four, five, six hundred millions of years ago when the plants needed to transfer fluids internally because uh, the live beings start developing from unicellular to multiple cellular and fluid was necessary to move from one place to another one. Since then, uh, live beings has been working on the fluid conduction. And what I'm going to tell you today is that this tube theory, I have some different proposition when uh, we are moving uh, uh, fluid by adhesion cohesion, like we have in a paper, we call unsaturated flow. Because there is a problem there. The problem is that the tube is a very specific geometry. You have the borders and you have just the inside and outside. Anything that goes in cannot leave the other side. And this is not so good for porosity. I'm going to show you in my pattern that I have a proposition to help to produce an advanced porosity that go far beyond the tube theory. I'm going to show you that if I enter this side and go to the other one, I will not leave unless the other side. Okay, let's see how, if I can do this, okay, like the fluid. for two, three, five thousand years. And now we have a new conception that's going to help to develop the best porosity for fluid transmission and solve this problem because the fluid cannot leave the walls of the tube and plants. They develop a structure, a sort of perforation the walls that allow fluid to live any place, they call uh, it was in the phloem and xylem. So it was nice talk to you. I hope you can have an advanced pros in the future. Lots of new products, new ideas like gardening, like a recharging marker or self-inking printer and many other applications because we can handle fluid much better learning with nature what was done for millions of years during plant or life evolution. Bye!